Hi guys, it's Paula. Back today to do the tutorial I told you, tutorial that I told you I would do regarding this envelope. Now this was in the fall envelope with the sunflowers and I just completed that and did a video and hopefully will be in my Etsy shop within the next day. Sooner if I can. Uh, so just keep watching. Okay, this is a, a 9 by, hmm, let me look here, 9 by 6 envelope. I folded it in half, just like this. So when it's in the journal, when you're flipping through the journal, it's going to be, wait a minute, I'm sorry. I want this to be the first one. When you're flipping through the journal, here's your journal. You're going to, you know, open Here's your page opening, it's going to be right here. And then a few pages later, the back is going to show up. And we're going to decorate the front, the back, the third page, and the fourth page. Now, I folded it over and left a little bit of the bottom, and then I trimmed it straight off and punched it with a circle punch. Now, I've inked everything. This is, this is going to allow you to have a pocket in the back. Now, there's several ways you can do this and have several different pockets. And I'm going to give you one example with this because I didn't want to bulk up my um, journal any more than it was. It's already a chunky monkey. So, let's get started with... I've already got everything cut out and inked because, you know, it just takes so much time if I don't. Okay, so this is going, I'm going to cover the flap. And since it's going to be a, the next book is going to be about leaves, autumn leaves, I thought I would do some leaves on here. Now, the first thing we're going to do is glue this down, and then we will move on to do. Um, do the hoe punches and the ribbon and so forth that's going to go in it. Now, I don't have one to show you. It's going to be a surprise <laughs> for change. The one that I actually did before ended up in the it ended up in the sunflower book, so made it kind of difficult to show that to you because I've already done the flip through so you'll see it. But, we're going to finish this one all the way through. Now, you want to just line it up, you know, where everything's lined up like it needs to be. Yep, can't see any hangover there. No hangover here, just a little bit. So, I'm going to trim off <clears throat> that any excess that's on here um, because... I don't want anything getting caught or, you know, catching on anything else. So you just flip your, your envelope over and trim off any of the little excess cardstock. Okay, there we go. All right, now we've got this nice little flap that just looks so much better than it did. Now, I'm going to flip over here and show you that we have the hole right here. So, I'm just going to get in the center of that. Now, this is going to be slightly off, and that it's no big deal to me. So, I've punched a hole through our cardstock, but I want a second hole, but as close as I can get it and still, let me see, as close as I can get it, let me make sure you guys can see. And be able to tie some muslin through there. And you want to even it up as much as possible. If it's not perfect, I'm trying to get my hole punch to work. It did not want to work for me. And I can already tell that I did not get it perfect. Man. See, mine are slightly off. No big deal. It's not going to be noticed. No one's going to notice it whatsoever. Now, we're going to take 
a string of muslin and I've inked it on both sides or distressed it just so it is not, you know, perfect. Gonna go down one side and back up the other side. Basically, we're just gonna just give this flap a little bit of a, a character. Let me flip it over, kind of even them up. See, till they're all even. And then you're just gonna tie a double knot. This is not a hard project, but it turned out cute. And I thought, well, I'm gonna show this to the girls because I didn't expect it to be much. And um, you just kind of have to work with it and get it to lie where you want it to. There. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the end, to the, um, you want your flap on the right side, okay? We're gonna move to this section right here, which we're going to use um, some felt for, because I wanna cover up this metal attacher. Um, so we're gonna just use the uh, felt just like that. And let me put my lid on my, glue there. I'm going to use this glue I'm trying to use up because it is at the very end and it's thicker and I want to keep the, the thinner glue for my... So see, I'm not really going to the edges. I'm just kind of covering because that texture is kind of fun when you when you have it on the uh, edges of your, as long as it's not gonna grab on something. Now, if it's on something that can grab, like a tag or whatever, you want to consider that. Whoops, it just drug right over onto my envelope. I'm telling you. I wouldn't do a craft if there wasn't some kind of flop, just like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's okay. We'll clean it up. I just don't want my puppy to get into it. Um, okay, so try not to do what I just did by dropping your felt. We're going to just center it up however you want it because there's not a right or wrong. And I'm gonna try to get this little bit of glue right here off that fell on, it, you know how it is when the glue gets thicker, it gets stringy also. So, I wish Fabri-Tac people would figure out a way to make that work better. One subby said that maybe using Vaseline on the end of the tip might help. Well, I don't have any in the house, so I'm going to have to get some and try that. Um, but just kind of a heads up as to what she told me. I don't, um, I didn't understand if it completely helped her or she was just suggesting that maybe it would. Okay, so on this one, we are going to glue a journaling card down. Now, um... I, I wanted it, it would have been nice if it had a bigger mat around it, but it still shows green on both sides, so I'm happy with that. Now, this, let's glue this down first. I'm putting it on upside down because I'm gonna cover this before I put my letters on. I, uh, I liked the card, but I didn't like what was on the card for this fall journal, so we're going to change that out a little bit. I hope my fan's not bothering you guys. It just feels muggy to me this morning. Okay, so just going to center that. Now, this is where you, if you wanted to make a pocket in one area, you could under the card. Now, I will on one of them uh, in the next, it's in the next one, I believe. 
Okay, now that's down. Now we're gonna add a little bit of muslin to cover up the graphic on here. Just because I want to put something different on. And what's on there won't work for me. Okay, if all else fails, just cover it up with something and make it work for you. Um, okay, now I'm going to get a wipey because I don't want this to get all grody when we're doing the little letters. Okay, on this one, we're going to, let me see what the other ones say. Some of them say the right thing, some of them don't. Let's just put, we'll just put, um, let's put fall, whoops, I dropped it. Okay. These little letters can be tricky. I might have to go back and glue them, but right now I'm just going to put them on here. I'm gonna go all the way over and put fall. Oops, I think I need an L there. I mean an A and an L. Okay, let me get over to this next page. I'm using Tim Holtz um, ideology label letters and kind of have to have them up where I can Pull them off of here. And when you pop one off, it seems like there's always two that comes. So that's why I said I don't know. I might have to go back and glue these down. On the last one I made for this uh, sunflower book, I just, um, I just stuck them down, but they were stuck down on the paper. So it made a difference. So let's do fall plans. So this would be a good place for you to write down all your fall plans. If I can get the letters to cooperate. There we go. Fall plans. Now, these aren't perfectly straight. No biggie either. I would fall over if I got something perfectly straight. <laughs> That doesn't happen very often. And you know it's okay because I like that look. It doesn't bother me. I'm trying to find an L, which I guess I used them all on page two. There must not have been very many L's in this book. So we'll move on to the next page. Whoops, I don't need an L for this. What am I thinking? Yeah, I do. Plans. Okay. We need another A. This is that 10% in my fingers that doesn't like to cooperate. Just a little bit hard for me to hold tiny things. Okay, but I manage. I don't let it stop me. It is not going to conquer me. fall plans. And like I said, I'll go back and stick those down in a bit. Now we're going to do uh, an index card to slide inside here because I love to use index cards for hidden journaling. Now I'm going to, I've got a piece of muslin and a piece of felt and I'm going to fold them in half and then use my tiny attacher Cut that string off. Use my tiny attacher and hook it onto here. Just center it the best you can. Okay. There you go. Simple, right? It takes care of both sides. So we're gonna slide that into the pocket and believe it or not, it is a perfect fit. 
Now you could leave it up or you can slide it down so you can close the flap, which is what I prefer. But I wanted something on there so that when the recipient opens it up, they can see there's something inside. Now this flap is not going to stay down on its own, so just work on it and keep it folded down. And when you close your book, just keep it closed in. Now we're going to flip, flip this side over. So we're going to be working on this side right here. Um, and on this one, we're going to do, do a little pocket. But first, we're going to put our muslin down because that's going to be our texture for this side. And um, I've already inked, inked on this. So that should make life a little easier. If I can get the glue to come down. You know how it is when you get close to the end of a bottle. I really want to use this up on the big stuff. Um, I just hate to waste any more than I have to. You know, I feel like we waste a lot just it coming out of the, the tip like a volcano, as Gail says. Um, so I just want to use the big goopy parts here okay all right that should be plenty and we're just going to flip it over and hopefully we won't drop it this time and center it on your envelope now and again just real close. I think I did pretty good. Okay, hope you guys are having a good day. I've been having a pretty good day huh, trying to survive the puppy right now. She does really good going outside and then it's like, uh, then she don't. <laughs> so it's like she's getting it, but she's not getting it. She'll go outside and then she'll come in and five minutes, 10 minutes, she's going TT again. It's like you wonder where they hold it all. I think we might finally be out of this glue. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna call it done and let's get out the new one. When you have to work that hard, you know it's something's not Oh, I always love a new bottle of Fabri-Tac. I don't know about you guys. It's like if I could could just waste my money and have fresh Fabri-Tac all the time, I would. Okay. All right, so this one is cute because you can just write down the things you want to do. Oh, I was going to make that a pocket, and I didn't, so we'll make... We'll make one of the next to a pocket. But what I was gonna do was make it a pocket under here because the flap is right here. It's just a good place. But what we'll do is make a pocket over there. Maybe on the back one. You can really do it anywhere you want. So it's very simple. I, I, I'm, I doodled on the one in the Snowflake book, but this one I don't think needs to be doodled on. So I just wanted to show you how I put it together. Um, it's not hard, but I know when you see it in the flip, you're going to think, okay, how does she do that? Because I would. Okay, so now we're putting the burlap, which I do try to put a little extra glue on it because it's a little heavier. And still don't have to go crazy, but more than, than you would on just paper. Okay. All right. Just kind of even it up with the guy next to it. Doesn't have to be perfect because they're gonna be on some completely different pages. I think we will do our 
I'm thinking if I want to do the tags on this side or the other side. Let me think. Let's do them on the other side. Okay. Now this one it says noteworthy. So a lot of these already said some good things. I was going to put, these are some Tim Holtz cards that I got on Amazon. Basically, they're similar to his, I believe it's the Wildflowers uh, Project Life cards, but they have some extra ones in there that's different. And um, so I'm going to center this. on here so basically what I thought this could be would be your ways of planning things for your months of your months of August not August October and November I'm still in August guys okay now we're going to go ahead and make another one of these little folds with the felt and the muslin and staple it on because I want it to be consistent. Trying to make sure both sides are not flipping under. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to line it up the best so you can see both your felt and your muslin. Come on. Come on, come on. Okay. Now, fold it in half. Where's my stapler? There it is. Okay, now you want to center as best you can. I didn't measure, I just eyeballed it. Go down and staple. And staple again. And that takes care of your your index card. And we're going to go ahead and slide it in on on um, this side. If when you cut your envelope bottom off, if you have any um, like areas like the edges of the here that flip up, I glued those down so we wouldn't have that causing an issue. Now on this one, I'm going to go ahead and put some leaves since we're doing a book about autumn leaves. Now, this one is um, from a different kit than what I was using in the sunflower book. I'm going to start the fall book hopefully today. I've got the pictures taken of the sunflower book and um so but i've got to get i've got to line the fabric and i think all of you know how to just add the the uh the fused stuff on and i forget what it's called a pellon fused you just use your iron and you fuse it to your fabric to to line it because the background is white, you know, and I had some, a little bit of glue liquid, li liquid, glue leakage. <laughs> My tongue is tied in a knot this morning um, on the sunflower book, but I inked it really well and, you know, it happens every once in a while. You don't have any control over it, really. I try not to over glue, but you want it to stay together also so it's kind of a could be a problem either way now this time i'm going to go ahead and glue this piece of muslin on the front of this here and now card because i don't really want it to say here and now so yeah, i don't think that really goes with autumn leaves so we'll glue this down let me get it to lay as flat as possible. And on this one, let's just put notes. Let's just put the word notes. I'm trying to get it to lay down flatter. OK. 
okay. And again, I'll go back and make sure these stay down. But I haven't had any trouble with them popping up on me, so the, the only trouble I have with them is hanging on to them. They're tiny little letters. Okay. So there we go. And looking for an O. There's one. Looking for a T. It's like you use some of these letters so fast compared to the others. I used to notice that in scrapbooking and it would be so frustrating. You might be able to get one title out of a pack. It can be frustrating when you buy a whole pack and then there's very little you can get out of it. Okay, now we need an S. Let's go to this next page and there is an S. Perfect. So now we're going to, I will again make sure these hold or I will stitch them either one. Um, now we're finished with, let me get these letters to kind of scoop off the table. They're all kind of stuck to each other. Okay. Then we have this. And we're going to glue it onto here. Now, this is where I want to do a pocket right here. So we're only going to glue the top and the bottom and the right side. Top and bottom and right side. I always double check because I'm telling you, I have glued them on so, wrong so many times. You'd think after a few times you'd, you wouldn't do that anymore. That's all right. Everything's fixable. Just do it somewhere else. <laughs> At least that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm going to move it over a little bit. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit. You could, like I said, you could have done this on every one, but I really just did it on one to show you that you could. You could make this a little journal by itself. I'll show you what I mean. Soon as we're through. Um, okay, so now I've inked up this little card from A Tattered Dreams, and I'm just sliding it in. I did shorten the string now on this one, I'm going to put, I'm going to tie this string in the tag. If I can get it down there. Yeah. Here's this, and I'm just going to make a little knot right here. I kind of do these different every time I do them, so if I can get it in there, we're going to do this. I'll put it that way. I like the look of just pulling it through and tucking it through it itself, but it's, you know, you have to glue it to keep it down, and it can be aggravating. So sometimes I just do it this way. And it can be aggravating doing it this way, too. <laughs> when you have it not cooperating, like right now. I, it looks like both, there they are. I started to say it looks like both of them are through. I'm going to trim the ends. Now, I thought we'd add a little bit of washi on this one. So I'm just going to pull off enough to cover both sides. And I'm going to get, I never put washi in my books that I don't um, glue them down with the straw. This is a Xyron glue stick, but I always use something that's stronger than what the kids would use at school. Um, I just feel like that's not very strong. And I just kind of 
wet the end with my glue stick and then I just kind of flip it over like that. And then you can come back. Now, put your finger on top and just pull and push. Easy as that. Now, I'm gonna just put this kind of in the center. And flip it over. Trim off the excess here. And cover this portion and cut off the excess. I have a lot of the embellishments made for the leaf journal uh, because a lot of them will be similar to what was in the, the other one. Now you're going to tuck this right in here. Okay, now I just told you that you could almost do this like a little mini journal. And what you would do is fold it in on itself. You wouldn't put any bulk right here sticking out like we've got right now. So let's just take this out and pretend it's not there. You could still make pockets, but what you would need to do is just to cut this a little shorter, the end of the book a little shorter, and then this would fold and close. And we might do one of those for um, a video at some point, but we'll do it different. We'll make it look more like a journal. Um, and I, I'll show you that in, in a future video. Okay, so I'm gonna put these back in our tuck spot here. This is all ready for our fall journal. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to come join us and subscribe. And we have fun. We make all kinds of stuff. We make journals. We make embellishments. We do mixed media. We're going to be doing some watercolor and a decoupage. And I could go on and on. But I just want to, wanted to show you guys this because I did it last night when I was finishing up. Um, the other book and I thought I'm going to show the, the girls how to do this because it's different right I don't know if anyone's ever done it but I haven't seen it so here you go you guys have a good day bye